Hey Cooper Koalas, this is Mr. Kiger here, and he wants to share with you a very special book that was given to him way long ago. In fact, you can see here, this is from my grandma and grandpa from 1998, which is almost twice as old as a lot of you. So I'm an, I'm an old man over here. And I thought it was fitting because it deals with haircuts. Someone's trying to cut off my head. It was early Saturday morning. Max was doing what he did every Saturday morning. He was watching TV. Max didn't just watch one channel. He watched them all. His mom and dad were asleep, so he had the TV to himself. He liked the scary cartoons like Man Eating Marshmallow from Outer Space. But he felt safe with his teddy bear next to him. Sounds like a scary show. Finally, his mom and dad woke up. They came into the living room. His mom said, well, this is your big day, Max. Let's get you ready. Max knew it was something big when his mom put the very best sweater on, the one with the penguin on it. A big day for Max was going to grandma and grandpa's to stuff himself with candy. One thing was for sure, Max loved candy. Mommy, are we going to grandma and grandpa's? Asked Max. No, his mom answered. It's someplace you've never been. Daddy is taking you to the barber. I wonder what a barber is, Max thought. His dad grabbed the camera and said, let's go, half pint. Hmm, hasn't been to a barber. I wonder how this is going to go. So, Max and his dad drove downtown. They pulled into a parking lot, got out, and walked down the street. Something caught Max's eye. It looked like a candy cane, a spinning candy cane. Aha, thought Max, it is a candy store. His dad slowly opened the door, and they walked in. Hmm. This is dad trying to trick him here. This was no candy store. There were two funny-looking chairs. They looked like something Max had seen in some of the scary cartoons on TV. Oh, boy. He said, or Max said, Daddy, I think we're in the wrong store. His dad said, No, Max, this is a barber shop. You're gonna get your first haircut. But I like the head just, or I like my head just the way it is, said Max, holding his head. His dad said, it won't hurt. That's all Max needed to hear. The last time he heard uh, that was at the doctor's office before getting a shot. You'll sit in the barber's special chair. He will comb your hair gently and use scissors to cut your hair. You'll look great when it is all done. He doesn't look too happy about this. But Max did not hear what his dad said. He was watching a big man with a white coat walk toward him. He looked like a doctor. Max held his teddy bear tighter. Who's that? Max, Max asked in a scared voice. That's the barber, said his dad. He'll be giving you a haircut. I don't want a haircut, squealed Max. It'll be okay, his dad said. He picked Max up and put him in one of the big, cold chairs. Oh, this, this is looking pretty bad for him. Now Max's heart was beating at about a hundred miles an hour. He looked out the window. The street was busy. Two ladies were looking in the window and giggling about him. Max's dad was ready to take a picture. Then the barber picked up a giant pair of scissors. In a booming voice, he said to Max's dad, Do you just want me to take the top off? Look at Max. At that point, Max stood up in the chair and screamed as loud as he could, Stop! Then it happened. An enormous boom rattled every store downtown. Max didn't know it, but he had broken the time barrier. Time was frozen. Everything stopped. His dad stopped. The barber stopped. Oh, oh no. Max grabbed his teddy bear and ran outside. The cars had stopped. The people were frozen as Max walked down Main Street. He saw birds and a plane in the air standing still. Nothing moved. The downtown looked like a wax museum. Oh my goodness, what's he going to do next? Max saw a fireman stuck in a place beside the fire truck he had been waxing. He loved fire trucks. He went up to the fire truck and climbed into the driver's seat. Sitting on the big truck, he looked at all the people who were like statues. Max wondered what he should do. He yelled, hello, is anyone there? 
No one answered. Hmm. He heard someone say, That took the kick out of my tick, and the rock out of my talk. Max looked toward the voice. Looked up toward the voice. The town clock was talking to himself. Max got into the fire truck's ladder bucket and pressed the up button. The ladder took him face to face with the huge old clock. Right before Max's eyes and ears, the clock said, I was sitting here quietly thinking when a loud boom left me blinking. It was the boy the size of an ant with the lungs of an elephant. Now I find that time has stopped on a dime. Max said, Mr. Clock, I'm sorry. I'm the one who screamed stop. The man was going to cut off my head. Then the clock said, watching cartoons day and night makes even a barber seem like a fright. But if you still sit or sit still in his chair, he will cut off only your hair. And when his work is all through, he'll have a surprise for you. I wonder what that surprise could be. Max asked, what do I do uh, to get time started again? The clock said, take the ladder down or back down below. And then in the barber's chair, yell, go. Then the time that you made will, to stand still will start once again. I promise it will. Before I go, I have one question, said Max. Why are you always rhyming? The clock snapped his fingers and said, it's all in the timing. Pretty clever. Max pressed the down button and went back to the barber shop. He got in the chair. Then with all of his might, he screamed, go! Time started again, just as the clock promised. Max sat quietly and got his hair cut. It didn't hurt. His dad took pictures. When the barber was done, he reached into a drawer. He pulled out the biggest, most beautiful lollipop Max had ever seen. He handed it to Max. Max's eyes got as big as the lollipop. That's why he was rewarded. Max and his dad went back to their car. Max skipped along. He had the biggest lollipop in the universe. Max heard someone say, hippity hop, hippity hop. I see a boy with a lollipop. Wonder who that could be. All I know is that Mr. Kiger really needs to visit a barber because take a look at all this hair. Help me please.